Hey friends, it's Denise hanging out in my garden because, you know, it's what I wanted to do today. Uh, I wanted to share something about you, with, but first, a fun fact about me. I love daffodils. You can see them there. If you drove past my house, you would see them all over my front yard right now. I love daffodils. I love all flowers, but uh, daffodils are my number one favorite. The reason that I love daffodils so much is because they are the first signs of spring. You plant them in the fall, you bury them, and then you have to wait six months. So you go through the fall, through the dreary cold winter, the snow, the ice, the bitter cold, and this whole time these daffodils are sitting in their bulbs underground sitting there keeping warm and waiting for the perfect time to come out and share their beauty with everyone. In my view, as the winter continues, it gets less and less exciting and more sad, just more sad. Football ends, uh, the ski trip ends, youth group things end. There's not much to look forward to. Uh, everything just seems to come to a halt for a while. But just as all of this is ending, that around the end of February, beginning of March, the daffodils start to come up. First, you see a little sliver of green in the middle of winter dreariness. There's a little sliver of green that comes up. And then a few days later, they get bigger and you can see little starting of flowers, which is happening right there. And then a week later, a daffodil opens up and shows its beauty to the world that is still surrounded by winter dreariness and sadness in my opinion. I get so excited when the first glimpses of daffodils come up. I love it so much. Friends, we're in the middle of a form of winter dreariness. We're all told to stay home. Our schools have been canceled. Our colleges and events have been closed. Online classes for many of you have started this week, which means that you need to figure out a way to study and learn in an environment that uh, where distractions are everywhere for you. Our normal life has been shut down and we are struggling to deal, but there is hope. Daffodils are blooming to remind us that there's hope. Something new is on the way and we and we can see it coming. And while we wait, we are not alone. Isaiah 41.10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be, afraid, be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is holding you. God is leading you through this time. God will help you get through this. You can get through this, my friends. Times are tough. This situation is asking a lot of you and it's taking away a lot for, from you. But do not be afraid. God is with you. Do not grow weary and let this exhaust you. Look to God for strength. Do not give up because there's hope. This week will bring a lot of struggles, a lot of stress, a lot of blessings, a lot of joys. And what I want to remind you is that you got this. God is with you, God is beside you. There are people in your life that are here to support you and care for you, and you got this, my friends. This new week brings challenges, but I know that we can handle it. God is with us. Take care.